Okay, now uh, I am set to take uh, the study session two, and uh, the topic is uh, orientation, studying in the university, uh, 21st century literacy. Uh, what is, let, let's start with the introduction. This topic will serve as a means of orientating students who want to learn in a, in a 21st century university. And what do you mean by literacy? Literacy is the ability to make and communicate meaning from and by the use of a variety of socially contextual symbols. And that the student should and they must be able to make use of the various ways of learning. And uh, within various levels of developmental ability, uh, a literate person should be able to derive and convey meaning and use ease or knowledge to achieve a desired purpose or goal that requires the use of language skills. Uh, so, uh, uh, either spoken or written as well as ICT skills. Uh, the learning outcomes for study session two, uh, this mode of learning uh, will prepare the student for online studies. Uh, it will make them to participate in online studies. This will help them to manage their digital identities, to find their way around the internet safely, uh, locate and evaluate useful online resources, edit and locate useful files online. Also, students will be encouraged to conduct themselves appropriately online among their colleagues and their lecturers. And uh, the language skills. Four language skills uh, are very important here. The first one is listening, uh, speaking, reading, and writing. The four skills are, re are related to each other by two parameters. Uh, the mode of communication that is oral or written, the direction of communication that is receiving or producing the message. What are, what are receptive skills? Re the receptive skills are listening and reading. These are the receptive skills. So learners do not need to produce uh, language to do this. They receive and understand it. They can be uh, contrasted with the productivity of speaking and writing. These skills are sometimes erroneously described as passive skills, as if they required no activity. Note that all skills require some activity. Another skills I would like to, uh, to mention here is the productive skills. The productive skills are speaking and writing. Learners doing this need to produce language. These skills are contrasted with the receptive skills of listening and reading. What does 21st century literacy imply? Uh, it implies basic literacy, numeracy, digital or e-literacy, and critical literacy. When we say uh, literacy, Literacy is the ability to make and communicate meaning from and by the use of a variety of socially contextual symbols. Within various levels of development ability, a literate person can derive and convey meaning and use their knowledge to achieve a desired purpose or goal that requires the use of language skills. Uh, B uh, be it uh, spoken or written. Literacy is not in isolated uh, uh, bits uh, of knowledge, but in students' growing ability to use language and literacy in more and broader activi uh, activities. That is according to uh, Muel 90, uh, 94. So literacy has, for, for instance, expanded to include literacy in information and communication technologies and uh, critical uh, literacy. That is according to Cummingham 2000. The definition of literacy is dynamic, evolving, and reflects the continual changes in our society. 
uh, I would like to take a numeracy. Numeracy involves using mathematical ideas effectively to make sense of the world. Uh, why in why it it is necessarily involved understanding some mathematical ideas, uh, notations and techniques. It also involves drawing on knowledge uh, of uh, uh, particular contexts and circumstances in deciding when to use mathematics, choosing the mathematics to use and critically evaluating its use. Uh, a, a, a numerate person should understand some of the ways mathematics can be used for communication. Yes, and this requires the possession of two attributes. Two attributes uh, being at ease with all those aspects of mathematics that enable a person to cope with the uh, practical demands of everyday life. And also being able to understand information uh, presented in mathematic, mathematical terms. Uh, digital literacy or e-literacy. It is the ability to use digital technology, uh, communication tools or networks to locate, evaluate, use or create information. Uh, the ability to understand and use information in multiple formats from a wide range of resources when it is presented via computers. It is the ability to read and interpret media to produce data and images through digital manipulation and to evaluate and apply new knowledge gained from digital environment. A person's ability to perform tasks effectively in a digital environment is what digital literacy means. Uh, desirable digital literacy skills uh, we have creation, management of digital identities. We have netiquette, uh, using emails in an academic environment, using online resources, identification and uh, evaluation of digital resources, uh, downloading, saving and sharing files, and also uploading assignments. And uh, I would like to discuss critical literacy. The, uh, it is the ability to read text in an active, reflexive, uh, reflective and a questioning manner to better understand power, uh, equality, and injustice in human relations. Also, uh, the practice of uh, challenging text through an ana analysis of the roles that uh, the power, culture, class, and the gender play in the message of the text. Why reading a text critically a reader assumes four rules. Okay, we have a code breaker, which uh, which is understanding the text at the surface level. We have a meaning uh, maker, comprehending the text at the level intended by the author. We have text user, analyzing the factors that influence the author and the text. And the last one is text critic, which is understanding that the text is not natural and that existing biases inform calls for calls, calls to action. That is according to Frey and Fisher 2015.